What's going on, Braves? It's your boy, Turtle the Black, and today we're going to talk about Update 20 for Warframe on PS4. Now, being a console Warframe player, I've just recently got this update, and I have enjoyed the living hell out of it. There's so much content, so much to do. The new quest was phenomenal. Thank you, DE, for such a wonderful experience. Octavia plays beautifully. I love the musical options we have with her. Limbo has turned into a fucking god on the battlefield. Stasis is an amazing skill. Thank you so much for this update, Digital Extremes. Now, let's just get right on into this because we have a lot to cover. So, first thing we're going to talk about is Octavia. She is an absolute delight to have. So, the build I'm running with her right now is... I have three, actually. I have three separate builds. One of them is essentially a low low kind of mod uh, budget build of what I'm using for this, uh, the name of it, I guess. Um, it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, streamline, continuity, stretch, intensify, redirection, vitality, and I believe I have cunning drift and power drift on it, uh, just for a little bit of extra range and uh, damage. Uh, it it's pretty decent. It uh, gets the job done at the very least. Uh, the range on Mallet when you use um, Amp is pretty damn good. It's mostly, I use this build mostly for our defense missions because it just takes up so much space the enemies can't really get into it. Uh, Resonator also helps a lot with it. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty basic. Uh, I'm working currently on two builds, um, a maximum range and a maximum power. Um, but they're not quite done yet. I still have to probably do another forma for her, but when those are done, I'll probably release a quick video about Octavia's builds. So, as far as Octavia as a Warframe goes, I think she's fantastic. I think the idea behind her was amazing, and I did have my doubts because it's like music and sound are so close, I thought they might do something like Banshee, but Octavia is such a fresh and original idea, I was just really not prepared for how awesome she was going to be. And I'm just so glad to have her and so glad that she's in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but besides that, I found that she's just like an excellent just support character. Like she gives so many buffs to your teammates. So if you're like a really heavy team player, like if you're in a clan and you go out with your clan all the time and you keep playing with them just constantly, she's excellent for just giving buffs and increasing damage and helping your teammates survive. And I think that's really important because there's not a lot of Warframes out there that really personify that whole support frame idea. Like there are frames that can do a support job. There aren't frames that really focus their entire being in existence to helping other players and helping your teammate and I think that's really what makes Octavia unique. She has the ability to give so many benefits to other players that it really makes her a unique Warframe and I think that's amazing. Now speaking of these buffs and abilities, um, I found that when you're using uh, the music, uh, the, her third ability, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But I'm um, using her third ability. Um, it's a lot easier to do it in time with music that you've created yourself because you know the beats and you know the melody and you know the bass. Trying to use the presets for this doesn't really work out too well because you don't know what the song sounds like. But when you use it with something that you made yourself, it makes it a lot easier to get in time with it and it allows you to get the buffs a lot easier, especially when you're doing the, um, the jumping or the crouching. Uh, the shooting one typically I don't really like use it too much because it's kind of hard to time shots when you use like a fully automatic, especially if you just need to like mow down a bunch of enemies. It's just kind of like irrelevant at that point because you, you're busy, you got stuff to do, and you can't be timing your shots like that. Um, I would love to take out my Grinlock and my Stradivar with her as well, just kind of play around with the uh, multi-shot buff that you get with uh, timing the uh, music. Um, but in addition to that. I feel like she's just a really strong character in general. She's really unique and she has a lot of potential. And I'm really looking forward to experimenting with her and getting her just to like ungodly levels of just fun and damage and duration and range. I'm just gonna, I'm planning on doing a lot with her in the future and I'll probably end up releasing some uh, song videos as well. So stay tuned for those. Uh, next up, 
I would like to talk about the Limbo rework. I'm sure there's tons and tons of videos on this already, but uh, I'm just going to talk about my personal experience. So I looked into Limbo's rework in one of the earlier dev streams, and I was blown away by what I saw. Like The way he plays now is so much better than the pre-reworked Limbo. Like it's, it's such a vast improvement that I'm honestly quite excited to see what they do for Chroma and Oberon. So, Limbo, now, um, there is no ability uh, to go into the rift. Now you just uh, do a quick dodge. And he doesn't roll like normal characters do. He, like, he just does like his quick, a little quick step. And I think that's awesome. That's a cool little animation. It's exclusive to him. Nobody else has it. I think it's awesome. Um, my only, like, complaint about it is that I move around like a hell of a lot and obviously a lot of people in this game do it's a heavy movement based game and I have to use that dodge button quite consistently to say quite consistently excuse me so I'm constantly going in and out in and out of the rift and it's like ugh. and sometimes when the lighting is a little bit harsh in some areas or it's just a little bit like too bland I can't tell if I'm in or out of the rift and it really fucks with me but those make for some pretty funny moments but Honestly, I think that the change to this is really nice and it's really uh, useful for Limbo players. Uh, his first ability, Banish, um, is no longer just one target. It can hit multiple at a time. It's kind of like um, Inaris' Scarab Swarm. It hits like a small cone. And it's very nice. I think it's a great improvement. Um, but other than that, the usability is pretty much the same. Uh, Stasis is pretty much the highlight of uh, New Limbo because it, it's just a cool skill in general. It's fucking amazing. Throw out Cataclysm, run stasis, everybody inside freezes and you just throw projectiles. It's just, it's so cool. It's so cool. I don't know how to describe it. It's just an amazing experience. If you don't have a limbo, build the quest, go get his part, build him immediately. He is fantastic. Now, the Rift Surge ability, I'm still a bit confused on how it works entirely. Like, I understand, like, person in the rift gets affected by rift surge, they die, and they explode, and then the rift surge affects other people outside. I get that. And the people that leave the rift, like under a cataclysm I would assume, they do like a radial banish and then everybody gets banished. And that makes sense too, but what I don't understand is like how it, like when I try to cast it, it doesn't really affect anything. Like, I don't know if I need to be in or out of the rift when I use it. And the same thing goes with banish. Like, if I'm in the rift, I can't banish people to the rift while I'm in it. I don't know if that's a bug or a glitch or if that's the way that's supposed to go. But that seems really weird because pre rework nim Limbo could do that. Uh, he could be in the rift and banish people in the rift and bring them in. And that seemed like like it's pretty much one of the easiest ways to like, keep yourself in check and just take out high-level enemies or high-damaging enemies. Easily, it just prioritizes them. But it doesn't seem like you can do that anymore, and I'm not sure why they would change that in particular, because it's not like it made Limbo OP or anything, that's for damn sure. So, I will have to do some more looking into that, but I definitely want to try to do a Rift, uh, Surge, and a Stasis build at some point, but I'm probably going to need some Quormas for Limbo for that. Obviously, I'm going to need the Augments as well. So, stay tuned for that one as well. Um... Other than that, I think that covers the two Warframes. There are, like, a couple more things I want to talk about, uh, but I'll probably just do another video talking about some small things like the uh, weapon updates. Um, but the last thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, clan changes. So clans are now, like, their own thing. And they have done a lot of work that I really enjoy, but they've done a couple of things that I'm kind of iffy about. So, I'd like to go into detail with these things. So, the first thing is the new clan leveling system, I think is a fantastic idea. It gives your clan, like, a reason to exist now. Um, it gives you, like, some reputation and, like, inspires your clan mates to get to that next level, to just constantly keep improving. I think that innate, just kind of, drive really helps people uh, want to play the game, and I think that was a really smart play by DE. Um, and I think the giving... Uh, research like actual rewards and give us EXP and having everything just be part of this one central idea that we need to get to the next level to just be better was a fantastic play so props to you uh, DE for implementing this I can't wait for the new uh, clan like, 
Hitman assassination shit to come out. That's got me really hyped. Um, I also appreciate the uh, new trading system that they've got up, uh, where you can just set up shop like Marie's Bazaar. I think that's really cool. Um, and the new Ascendant uh, decoration is also pretty dope. I have it like dead center in the middle of my uh, dojo. Uh, but there are a few things that I do have some issues with. So, first thing, um, with the trading thing implemented now, um, it seems kind of weird that you need to like set up shop and stuff, because like, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the trading post. Like, do we even need that anymore? Because it might be... Uh, those are resources that we could put back into the treasury and then allocate somewhere else. Like, if we don't need that anymore, what's the point of having it? You kind of made the trading post irrelevant by putting the uh, trade feature in there. So, that's something I'm going to be looking into. I'll probably just get rid of the trading post. Like, maybe you need the trading post in order to set up shop inside of your dojo, which seems kind of stupid, but it'll, it will be something I look into. Another thing is the dueling rooms. I think this is a fucking hot mess. Like, I understand that you wanted to, like, post that on a different server, and I get that. It makes sense to me. But the way the system works is just, it's all over the place. Like, you can't invite people to, like, an individual dueling room unless you're the host. And that kind of, it kills the flow, because, like, if you want to invite, like, a bunch of people that you're not friends with everybody, but some, some of your friends that are already in the dueling room are friends with them and you want to invite them, um, you can't really do that. And it kind of kills the flow of the whole dueling thing. On top of that, it adds extra loading times. It's just, it seems kind of just clunky at the moment. So I, I would assume they're going to probably look into that and try to make it better. But I don't think hosting it on, like, a completely different universe is a smart idea. So, please look into that DE if you watch this video. Uh, the dueling rooms are a little bit slow and clunky. Um, they could probably just use some fixing up. They just need... I don't really know how to describe it. From my experience with it, I went to the dueling room, and I got invited by one of my friends, and I went there, and then I needed to go change my loadout, and this is another problem I'm going to talk about in a second. I needed to change my loadout, so I headed back to the dojo. It doesn't let you quit straight from the dueling room back to your ship. You have to go back to the dojo and then back to your ship, which I think is A, a problem. Um, but I went back to my ship, changed my loader, and then I tried to join into the dueling session, and I couldn't do that. I had to get invited by the host. But the host was mid-duel, so I had to sit there and wait. And I think, that's another problem. Like, it's just, it seems irrelevant to have all of these restrictions on who wants to join these rooms. Like, it doesn't have to be just, like, straight up anybody can join the room at any time. But if I'm in the same clan that the host is in, I should be able to join that session with no problem, you know? It just seems kind of weird. Um, and then, again, like I was saying a little bit earlier, we need to be able to change loadouts in the dojo like we can at Maru's Bazaar and the Relays. Like, you just switched it over to the Relay system, this feature should have been implemented. It should have been implemented a long time ago because it's a pain in the ass to, like, if you're dueling and you want to change your loadout, you have to go back to your ship, change your loadout, come back, and if you want to change the game, it's like it's back and forth, back and forth, loading times, cause delay, it's just awful. It needs to be implemented, this has to become a thing. But that's pretty much my only gripe about this. Um, and speaking of the relay systems, I think it's a great idea um, to post it on its own separate server rather than have it a uh, peer-to-peer -peer connection, I think it's fantastic. Um, but on the same note of clans and stuff, I had a bit of an issue trading. Uh, the other day, I was trying to give this guy the Galatine Prime uh, blueprint, and it wouldn't let me trade with him for some strange reason. I sent him in, like a trade request when he joined, and then he didn't get it. He kept walking around, he didn't get the message. So I backed up, sent him a message saying, try to invite me. He was like, okay. Try to send me thing, an invitation. Same thing happened. And it just, it just wasn't working, so I tried to set up shop there, and he couldn't trade with me there. He tried to do it, I couldn't trade with him. Then it just, this went on for about 30 minutes, and I was like, what the hell was going on? So I restarted Warframe, same thing kept happening. I wasn't sure 
I would imagine it probably has something to do with the relay system and changing the whole shop setup. Um, something went wrong with the code there, I'm not really sure. But I don't know if this is like a serious bug, like if a lot of people are having this happen or not, but it's definitely something you should probably look into now, DE. Um, eventually we resolved it by going to Maru's Bazaar and just trading there, but <laughs> ripping that guy, he was Mastery Rank 14 and couldn't even wield the Galatine in the first place, so that trade went down the toilet. So. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I've got for today. I'm really excited for uh, what's coming in the future. Uh, the new priest cleric Warframe is coming out. I'm calling him Bishop. And if his name is not Bishop, I dare you to try to find something better. So, leave a comment on what you think the new Warframe for, I'm assuming, Update 21 should be. I'm calling him Bishop. I think Arch Archbishop or Archbishop would also be a cool one too. But Bishop sounds nice. Rolls off the tongue. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment uh, saying what you want the new Warframe's name to be and do some theory craft. Like, what, what's he gonna do? What's his abilities gonna be? Like, just leave some comments. Have a discussion. Um, expect a new video coming out on Tuesday, uh, Nintendo Tuesdays, and. Uh, the new Warframe is OP video should be out fairly soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I think that's all we got for today, so uh, make sure you drop a like if you love this video, because I know you absolutely did. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.